big stretch. And so, um, so our conversation leading into it, even, even, even with how unlikely it is that they would let me head it, I was like, I'm not gonna just say yes. I'm not gonna just say yes to this. It means too much to me. About five minutes into the conversation, him telling me the story and the vision, the character, all these themes, the reason, the fact that the park was, would be open, you know, uh, that there's this guy who could kind of like train raptors, and there's this love story and this really powerful character in, in a female that's like the corporate uh, executive, and like, it just sold me, and I was like, oh my God, this is this is what this is it this is how you tell this story now without it being contrived or, or fake or or you know d dishonoring the franchise so i got really really excited and then and then they forgot about me for like five months and then came back to me five months later and like hey we want to give you the part and i was like yeah oh my god i'm gonna do this would the chris pratt of five years ago believe that the chris pratt of today is doing what he's doing i don't think the chris pratt of today w would would admit it but yeah, I think the Chris Pratt back then would know. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't believe it. I, I don't think the Chris Pratt of five years ago, just like the Chris Pratt of today, uh, would look at a, anything beyond like an eight-hour window of the moment that he's living in. So uh, I'm not sure he would know how to answer that question, nor do I. A highly intelligent animal.